Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's Al Nasser up against Juventus. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. And the old lady of Italian football going with this starting 11. Wojciech Szczesny is the goalkeeper. Juan Cuadrado starts with Filip Kostic on the flanks. And up front, Angel Di Maria plays alongside Mois Keen. And now they get the ball rolling. Abdullah Al Khaibari. Kono. Anderson Taliska. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Given his magnificent form, then there's every reason to believe that Cristiano Ronaldo will make an impact here. Well, Derek, there are few better players in the air. He's so dangerous when balls come into the box, so expect crossing to be a big part of their game plan today. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Anderson Taliska. Ronaldo. Ronaldo! And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. ball is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be using the wide route could be beneficial for Juve preferring to go infield it's a perfect challenge Anderson Taliska Kostic and a tidy tackle and teammates around him oh it was a close run thing but the goalkeeper just got there first well wasted opportunity here would have been a decent chance but offside the verdict Kostic, Juventus unable to retain possession. Anderson Taliska.
Anderson Tadiska. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. There to win it back. Ronaldo. So getting close to the half-time interval and it's going with home advantage, albeit not by a lot. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen so far? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Quadrado. Well, not giving him any breathing room. Juventus have given it away. Kostic. Locatelli. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Well, there it is, Juventus have controlled the possession, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide area. Oh, wait a minute, Stuart, look what's happening. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. Delivering it. And you need your defender to take charge. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, there's a reason why we're highlighting Cristiano Ronaldo. He's been very creative out there, Stuart. Well, his skill level to go past defenders and get shots away has been excellent today. The only surprise, he's just got the one goal. And so the second half is underway with Juventus, the old lady, in need of a lift. Anderson Tavisca, Ronaldo, and a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, and then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. So the ball rolling again, 2-0 the score. Oh, this is looking promising. Well, on the final analysis, it was good defending. Di Maria. Keen. He read the situation defensively and did his job. He's lost the ball, Juan Cuadrado. Ronaldo. Gives it a go. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. Rabio And continues his run.
Really getting stuck in. Quadrado. And the ball back with Juve now. Quadrado. Now, who can he play it to? Into the final 20 minutes. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Quadrado. Danilo. Well, the seconds are ticking away and the home side in control. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. That's a splendid ball from Ronaldo. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Just 10 minutes remaining here. And taking it away. Di Maria. And Keane. Anderson Talisca. They've regained possession. Di Maria. They might be onto something. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it. But how has he allowed that much time and space? He doesn't even have to jump to head it in. It's a good finish, but terrible defending. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Well, if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Ronaldo. And that will be all for this game. Defeat for the visitors, that's the big story. Well, Derek, the fans are right to expect more. The tempo of their passing was too slow. They were second to the ball too many times and were beaten by the better side today. Well, we're focusing on Cristiano Ronaldo for a reason, Stuart. Fair to say, he's been at his brilliant best. Well, he was on fire today, not just with his finishing, but also his general play. That was a top-class hat-trick. 